Hello all, welcome to Tech Capture. So in this video, we are going to discuss about one of the more ETL service in Google Cloud, that is a Cloud Data Fusion. So previously we discussed about other services like a Data Flow, Composer, Airflow, and now in this video we are going to discuss about the Cloud Data Fusion, and we also check how it is different from the other ETL services in Google Cloud, and also why it is so famous and easy to use okay so let me just go and have the quick introduction about cloud data fusion and then we'll go to the google cloud console create the data fusion instant and start our first etl data pipeline okay so let me just go to the next slide and here what is data fusion so we'll just try to check so data fusion is fully managed code free data integration service so you can see why I highlighted the code free because that is the reason this data fusion is more famous among other cloud services because even though it can have the data pipeline without code but we can create a very complex ETL data pipeline we can have very good amount of transformation on the data we can have source multiple source plugins we can have multiple destinations we can create very powerful ETL data pipeline with the data fusion without writing any kind of code so this is basically the code free data integration service hosted on the google cloud so it enables business to build and manage etl pipeline with ease because you don't need to write any kind of code here and it is completely a code free so it is kind of the ui and we can drag and drop our source and destination and apply the logic with the help of ui only okay so we'll have the demo definitely at the end of this video so we'll just have the quick introduction that is drag and drop interface eliminate the need of extensive coding and making it accessible to the data engineers and the non-technical users okay so what are the key use cases so let's say suppose you have to consolidate data from the various sources and then load into the data warehouse along with certain transformation then you can use the data fusion without any kind of coding then transforming structured data and unstructured data for analytics preparing data for machine learning models so all these use cases are used for the data fusion now what i will do so this is the basic introduction now i will go to google cloud console and we'll see how we can create the data fusion instance so let me go to the google cloud console now so i am on my google cloud console so from here i will go to the data fusion so if you are using data fusion for first time it will ask you to enable the api so i use data fusion before in this project so it directly landed me on the create data fusion instance so i'll just click create instance here i'll just try to give the demo name here in the region i will choose your central one so here there are okay let me just try to create instance and let me choose any other region okay and there are three editions okay developer basic and enterprise so let's check the pricing for each edition so we can pick the instance for which we have to pay less so there are developer basic and enterprise edition so for developer the pricing is 0 0.35 dollar uh, for basics is 1.80 and enterprise 4.20 the one thing if you notice the for the basic editions offer first 120 hours per month per account free so we can create the basic version and we can get advantage of the free tier here okay i'll just go with the basics uh, so sometimes if you are creating for the first time it will ask you to grant the permissions here at this stage but i already used it in this project so it is asking not asking anything because the, it is having the all required permission to the service account and i can simply click on create so you can see here the instance creation will take approximately 20 minutes okay so i'll simply click on the create instance so it will take the 20 minutes to create the data flow instance or not data flow data fusion instance okay so let's just try to refresh and within the 20 minutes the instance will be up and running so i'll just pause the video for time being and once the instance is up and running i'll just resume the video okay so i'll just pause this video at this stage now we can see our instance is up and running so we can just See, this is the main home page and uh, to access the data fusion ui we have to navigate to the view instance option here so it will navigate to the new option and it might ask you to yeah continue with your google account so you can authenticate using the same account and provide the permissions okay so i'll just go with this default set 
Okay, there is some error. Let me go back and access again. I think I missed to check the box. Okay. Continue. Continue. Yeah, and now it's loading the data fusion UI. So data fusion is having couple of components. You can see here the data fusion is having a Wrangler, which is the main component and used to explore the source and destination, the transform the data, clean the data, and it's kind of the uh, where you create your uh, pipeline mainly. Then one is integrate. It is kind of studio. Okay, I will navigate you to the each of this option. So first I'll go to the Wrangler and in Wrangler I'll show you what options do we have in the Wrangler. Okay, so in Wrangler you are having a multiple options to connect to the connection. So we'll see what options do we have to connect to the connection. So we have option to connect to query. Then we are having Cloud SQL for MySQL, Cloud SQL Postgres, GCS bucket, Kafka connector, MySQL, Oracle, S3 bucket and multiple options we are having here okay so that is the one thing uh, so let's suppose if we select any of these bucket so let's let's take if we take any of this bucket so it will display or we can connect directly to the source okay so the default connection here is a bucket so we can connect to any of these files so we'll check that later so first part is kind of uh, let me go back here go to the home yeah so this is our wrangler so in wrangler we can connect to the uh, data source okay so we can create the connections here uh, then i will go to uh, other option which is kind of studio so in studio we can see the pipeline <laughs> we can add the source and uh, destination so you can see we can add the source here we can add the sync which is kind of destination we can apply the transformation logic so this is kind of just drag and drop tool okay so we can add this transformation csv formatter csv parser compressor uh, field decoder so multiple transformations are here okay and then we are having some analytics data cache deduplicates then sync in sync is kind of the in conditions and actions delete action query argument query execute so we are having multiple options here as well okay so that we'll see one by one i just want to walk you through the component wrangler we already see here list because currently we do not have jobs or pipeline there should not be anything in the list there are no pipelines okay in hub you will see a multiple plugins which we can use so let's say for amazon we have to integrate with the amazon data we can connect with amazon then there will be for azure oracle db spark so multiple plugins are available which we can use then with the gcp we are having uh, gcp plugins here for the sap we are having some plugins here okay so we can integrate with the sap source as well so using hub we can use that in operation it is again for the monitoring we can see all the history of the jobs here in the operations all the job execution failed and success job list so that is overall introduction of the cloud data fusion so in next video we will create a data fusion pipeline okay we will do the transformation and then we will load also the data into the BigQuery so that's it for this video and in the next video we'll just go and create our first a data pipeline okay thank you for watching this video and uh, we'll see you again in the next video